Welcome everyone. Today finds us in Baraboo, Wisconsin at the Circus World Museum, the home of the Ringling Brothers Circus. We begin by entering a room full of posters. There's also going to be a short movie. Maybe I'll start here in the cinema to find out about the world's greatest showman. Here's a display honoring Irvin Feld, very well known in the world of showbiz, not just circuses, but he also was a manager of Siegfried and Roy, the famous Las Vegas magicians. Here they are. Here's a costume of famous animal trainer Gunther Gable Williams, and he must have been a really small man because this is not very big. There are so many posters and collectibles here, not just from the Ringling Brothers, but from the history of circuses in general. This is much broader in scope than I thought it would be. I thought this was going to be purely dedicated to the Ringling Brothers who were from right here in Baraboo, but this is a great tribute to the circus. Some of these original posters are amazing. Look at this Annie Oakley. This is the preliminary sketch for the poster that's right alongside it. What a piece of history. And of course, at one point, Barnum and Bailey teamed up with the Ringling Brothers to form the Ringling Brothers Barnum and Bailey Circus. And as famous a showman as P.T. Barnum was, I think it's pretty telling that the Ringling Brothers got top billing. That's pretty funny. Rhinoceros or unicorn? I'm guessing rhinoceros. Holy cow, another full wall poster. These are probably used in the sides of buildings and giant billboards. And here is another cage. Wow, that's really neat. Now you can see this from the outside, so this actually promotes the museum as well as provides a great museum display. Look at that, isn't that cool? I'm guessing I'm not supposed to open that up. But I sure could if I wanted to. They look pretty terrifying and ferocious, don't they? We're in the off season, but during the season they actually have shows here. Look at this. These are circus novelty instruments. This is absolutely amazing. I can't believe all the stuff they have here. It's in such good condition. I really wish that people were here to actually use it. And this is Cinderella's Carriage from 1923, Ringling Brothers Barnum & Bailey Circus. just keeps going and going and going. Oh my goodness, look at these little costumes. Major Might, 1935. This is so tiny. It's unbelievable. I don't think a two-year-old could fit into this. Of course, we don't use the term midgets any longer. But at one time, apparently, this was quite a show. And there, the famous Daisy and Violet Hilton. And here's a famous flea circus. It says, oh yes, they were real. It was a complete scam. There were no fleas actually doing anything. And the most famous elephant of all time, 
Jumbo. And although it's quite sad the way some of these animals were treated in captivity, nevertheless, it's a big part of circus history and it's really neat to see those performing elephants. Let's look at myself in the funny mirror. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is cool. Look at this, they have Zambora, the gorilla girl. At least I think it's Zambora. That was one of the coolest side show illusions ever. It's where the girl turned into a gorilla. Ooh. Okay, I see what's happening. You see the gorilla? If I was sitting there, you would see me turn into the gorilla. This is the classic Pepper's Ghost. We have a sheet of glass here, and when the light is bright in there, you can see the image shine through the glass. When the light is bright on this side, you see me reflected back in that direction. And that's how I turn into a gorilla. Beauty or beast? <laughs> I don't think I'm either. This is cool, we can sit on the motorcycle and it looks like we're in the cage. Don't feed the giraffe. It does say, don't feed the giraffe. This is one of my favorite things, the old sideshow banners. Here President George Bush attended a circus and they have a hat signed by the president. Here they show riggings for the big top and the equipment for the aerial act. That's a shoulder bar, wow. That's not soft or padded at all. And here I am at the top looking down at the other rings. Help me, I'm afraid of heights. This is really cool, a lot of interactive things. All right, we're going in the cage with the tigers and the lions and every, ah! Look at that, there's the chair, one of the famous chairs. It says it was used by Dave Hoover, who worked for the Cole Brothers Circus. That's the circus I worked for. It's true, when I was a kid, I worked in the circus. Look at these elephants. Isn't this neat? We're heading over to what they call the ring barn now. I don't know exactly what the ring barn is, but there's an old vehicle over here we're going to look at first. Then we'll go into the ring barn. That's really neat. It's no popcorn truck. I don't know if I can sit in this or not. It doesn't say you have to keep off. Oops, I have to keep off. It's fun to look at nevertheless. Let's head into the ring barn. Oh my goodness. Will you look at this? Baraboo, home of the Ringlings. There's a Ringling Mansion on 5th Avenue and Broadway. We'll have to take a look at that before we leave. Henry's home on Ringling Boulevard and Ash Street. There's the Moeller Brothers Wagon Works and the Al Ringling Theater. I saw that on my way in. Look at the way the theater is set up. I know there's a lot of glare. Here are some different ringmasters through the years, as well as their costumes. And here's the display to Lou Jacobs, the most famous clown face of all time. Lou has been on a United States postage stamp, a Saturday Evening Post, and even Life Magazine. 
what's he look like without the makeup? There he is. That is really funny. It's not painted. It's a carpet. It's called the bug rug. And look at the engine on this. Look at the size of those spark plugs. <laughs> Close up. It really looks different. You can just see that's plywood and I don't know, just little odds and ends. Looks great when you're in the stands though. Clowns, a connoisseurs of laughter. And there's one of the most famous clowns, Emmett Kelly. And these are bang hammers. They put shells inside. And I don't know if you can see it in there. But when they hit something, that shotgun shell went off and it made a mighty blast. And here's a peek backstage, looking at clown's costumes, clown shoes. A funny clown camera. I don't know if that would squirt water or dust or what would come out of that. Look at that. Danger, baby rattlers. And there's rattles inside. And here they talk about the different kinds of clowns. The character clown, the white face clown. I think that's what most people think of when they think of a clown. And the august clown. And there's another funny mirror. Here's the equipment of Felix Adler. And Jimmy Williams, Happy the Clown. Here are some of the tools they use to do the ornate carvings on the wagons. Of course, it's not a circus without music. So this whole exhibit is dedicated to music of the circus. So this is what it feels like. I'm pretty sure I wouldn't want to live my life as a circus animal. There's a little ring where shows would be performed. But right now we're going to see the new exhibits in, of all places, the Elephant House. Wow. Look at this. Wow, this is amazing. A real old circus banner. And look at that, merry-go-round animals. When I was arriving and driving through town, someone had one of those carousel animals displayed on the upper level of their house. If I can find it again, I'll show it to you. And here's a ticket booth. Wow, that looks like the most secure 
wagon I've seen. I suppose that's because it has all the money. P.T. Barnum is never to be forgotten oddities, thinnest, fattest, smallest, tallest of all time. Look at the chair. I suspect that's from maybe her. It's a big chair. It doesn't say I can't sit in it, so I'm going to sit in it. How can you pass it up? Look at all these beautiful costumes. So many costumes. This is absolutely amazing. It is an elephant tricycle. They actually taught an elephant how to ride a tricycle. Look at these pedals. My goodness. They are substantial. This is an original segment of the floor that housed the elephants. And for over 20 years, they trampled and lived on this floor in this building. This is the elephant house that we were just in. And just across from it is what they refer to as the animal house. In this house were giraffes, hippopotamuses, and all kinds of different animals. That is unbelievable. Let's go inside. It no longer houses animals, but rather miniature displays of circuses. Look at this. Wow. This really isn't all that big of a building to house an entire circus full of animals. I mean, I know there's a lot of other buildings here, but not a really big one. I wonder how many animals were kept here. Just so weird to think that they kept hippopotamuses and giraffes in this building. And here's a huge display of circus trains. Really, really a big display. Look at these kids watching the circus from far, far away. All of these displays tell the story of the Ringling Brothers. Here's another animal house. This one is where they kept lions and tigers. It doesn't really specify which of these buildings held which animals. I think the signs are just giving examples of the type of animals that were kept right here in the small town of Baraboo. One of the biggest buildings on the property. I don't know if you can tell how massive this building is. And it says this was a wardrobe department. Right next to it for comparison, that's one of the animal houses. Right over here, this building is the winter quarters. What a ramshackled old building. Let's go read the sign. Kind of decrepit. And yet, this was the winter headquarters around 1901. This was it. I hope you enjoyed our visit to the Circus World Museum in Baraboo, Wisconsin. As always, I encourage you to like and share the videos. Leave your comments down below. If you haven't already, please subscribe by clicking my face down there in the corner. And don't forget to click that bell icon up above so you know when I post new videos. Thanks again for Baraboo, Wisconsin. I'm Mark with the Average Me Channel.